The social movement doesn't have a specific place or a location. It lives in the actions, the minds, and in the relationships between people. But there are places where the ideas of a movement develop. Places where the movement's ideas go more mainstream. A group of Iraq veterans against the war, that's IVW, are planning to start up a GI coffee house near the entrance of the Fort Lewis military base in Washington state. Though the project is still in its planning stages, the idea is that it will be a center for supporting GI rights and war resistance in the region, as well as a place for GIs to get coffee right off the base. On a street littered with barber shops and abandoned dry cleaning businesses, the veterans have found several possible locations for this project. This is an area that's right outside of McCord Air Force Base, but uh, as we get to Tillicum, I can drive around Tillicum and uh, we can check out. Uh, it looks like a demilitarized zone in places. There's all sorts of empty lots, and uh, it's it's really economically depressed, which works in our favor as far as starting a coffee shop because uh, rent is really low out there. Seth Manzel served in Iraq with the Stryker Combat Team before joining his local chapter of IVAW. It's been a couple years. This building sat empty for years, which has to be killing the owners. We really want to focus on providing just a space for soldiers to come and, and decompress and uh, you know talk to each other, network with each other. There's going to be a GI rights, uh, the GI rights hotline, uh, where you're going to give them a, a, a permanent desk here, and also Iraq Vets Against the War will have a permanent desk here. The other place we can actually see Fort Lewis from there. We can actually see Fort Lewis across the interstate from here. Most of the places they've been checking out are abandoned dry cleaners, oddly enough, because with fewer army requirements for cleaning their attire, these places have virtually disappeared from the small communities around military bases. This is another place we're looking at. As you can see, it's it's uh, you know some people have vandalized the building. There's graffiti on it, but uh, it's. Uh, it's a perfect location. If we look down the street, you can see the gates of uh, Camp Murray Madigan, and then across the street, you can see the gates of Fort Lewis. A coffee house like this would be the first of its kind in the nation since the 1970s. During the Vietnam era, dozens of coffee shops popped up around the nation. In Texas, one was called the Oleo Strut, which was named after a part that made sure the helicopter landed smoothly. And a coffee house known as the Shelter Half was established in Tacoma, not far from Fort Lewis. In October of 1968, the Shelter Half opened its doors in Tacoma, and in the same month, the first issue of Counterpoint, a GI resistance publication, followed by the Lewis McCord Free Press and Fed Up, were published off base near Fort Lewis. But aside from continual harassment from the police force, its shortfall was that its location was still a 20-minute drive from the base. IVAW believes that a closer new location will be more effective. The Seattle chapter of IVAW last year started publishing GI Voice, a publication that makes its way onto Fort Lewis, and has also begun a GI Radio project, available on giradio.org. He was tailgating in the same manner that almost every third world driver I've ever ridden with tailgates, you know. Uh, just kind of aggressive, typical bad driving, um, and I just I chose to ignore the order. Though GI Radio is currently broadcasting from Seth's garage, they plan to move it to the coffee shop once it's set up. And that goes from uh, to our computer that transmits uh, out to the uh, internet. A number of individuals and groups have already started donating equipment to the coffee house project, such as a cash register. IVAW says the next step in organizing is to raise enough money to pay for the lease they would need to start operating and selling coffee. They are several thousand dollars short at this point, however. As far as a name goes for the coffee shop, the vets are tossing around Ojive Plunger, 
which is the name for a part on a Mark 19. IVAW and volunteers will vote on a name as the project unfolds. People are helping out any way they can because we've had a lot of people who are really excited about this idea. You know, they're really excited that we're, you know, we're, we're promoting GI resistance, and uh, that's something that uh, that a lot of hasn't really been done a whole lot. They're in a position to actually do something about this war, where the rest of us aren't so much in that position. The only way we're going to end this war is the people coming out and speaking out and saying to the government. This occupation must end now. Thank you.